650 is your time now. Live look at National Harbor, Maryland. A beautiful start to the day across the Northeast, but a very warm one. Uh, when you see temperatures starting off the day the same as we have here in the Valley, uh, that's unseasonably warm there in the Northeastern U.S. For us, we've got some clouds around this morning. Not very many, but we've also seen some isolated showers around as well. Uh, they will continue to be very isolated and teeny tiny as we go through the day today. Uh, could see a couple of them this afternoon. So we're keeping the chance of rain at uh, anywhere from 10 to 20 percent. Notice the sea breeze boundary on that last few frames or so as it's moving westward, trying to generate some little brief heavy downpours along that line as it goes inland and moves into Hidalgo County. So uh, most of us are going to be rain free today. So just uh, don't be getting too excited for the chance of rain. But if you get one in your backyard, consider yourself lucky. Lower 90s east today to mid 90s westward. We should be at 94. So for most of us, we're going to be running a couple degrees below normal for today and then lower 80s there uh, along the coastal sections. East winds at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. On the island, 83 today. UV index extreme. Rip current risk is moderate and that surf running two to four feet and out on the bay. Light chop this morning will go moderate chop this afternoon. Uh, sunset tonight at 819. And we're looking out in the tropics. We're at June 2nd, so we're right in it now. A hurricane season for the Atlantic. And so there's our area of low pressure. This is the remnants of what was Hurricane Ag uh, Agatha. It's going to eventually start making its way over the open water, but it's still going to be very close to land uh, for the next 24 hours or so. So still looking at a development uh, chance at 80% of becoming at least a tropical depression over the next couple of days. Regardless, it's going to make its way towards southern Florida, and it's going to be a heavy rainmaker for those folks. And then this system, not really anything to worry about as it moves off towards the northeast. So there are the computer models, again, taking it across somewhere from central to southern Florida. That would be for tomorrow night into Saturday, and it's going to be racing off towards the northeast from there. First name on the storm or on the, on the list is Alex. There is your seven day forecast then with the weekend always in view. Low to mid 90s as we go through the next uh, couple of days there and then upper 90s to near 100 as we go into the latter part of the weekend into early next week. Breezy conditions as well.